Wow. If you guys stop resisting, will yes. you go? I have the right to know what I'm being arrested for. Shocking incidents where the police deal with the criminals to ensure safety. If you're going over 80 miles an hour south on Broadway, do you not see the road conditions? From dramatic drunken men resisting arrest to an arrogant woman. My dad's on my way though, but is that okay? Here are some incidents where the police apprehend these people engaged in crimes to spotlight the necessity for enhanced awareness and preventive measures. Um, I noticed you wearing sunglasses. They prescription. They... they are prescription. Our first incident involves a woman named Natalie, who faced consequences of law enforcement for her own fault. <laughs> I'm doing okay. Can I talk to you for a few minutes? Absolutely. Thank you. All right, Natalie, do you still live the address of your license? No, that is my parents' address. It's your parents' address? Yes, so I live right here. Okay. So what happened? Uh, I was trying to turn into this. On the 10th of January, 2023, Palm Beach County officers pulled over a vehicle that turned on at a wrong intersection and crashed into another vehicle, which caught the attention of the police officers. When she was inquired and found to be intoxicated, see for yourself what happened to her when she was given the tests. So, I walked into the car. Okay. They're either in the back, but like I had Shoes on. Step, let's, let's see if we can see what's... Yeah. No? No, but I walked into the car with... I just came from lunch. Where was lunch at? Poppy Chulo's. Okay. Oh. That's alright. Come Poppy on over Chulo's. here for me. Um, do you have any medical problems? No. Do you take medication for anything? I do for anxiety and depression. Okay. Well, that's considered a medical problem. Just in case you didn't know. Um, what do you take for anxiety and depression? Lexapro. Okay. How often do you take that? Once a day. Once a day? Like, is it morning or before bed? or? It's morning. It's morning. Okay. Did you shake this morning? Yes, ma'am. Good. It's 9 a.m. Very good. Like clockwork, right? Yep. Does it help? It does. Good. good. Any other any other medications or medical problems? No. How about physical injuries? No. No? Any problems with your legs, knees, feet, back, hips, anything like that? No. No? So, what happened today? I was trying to get into my apartment complex, which I've gone through this path multiple times. The same path. Granted, there was a lot of traffic and when I thought there was an opening because someone stopped ahead of me. Okay. So I thought, okay, I can get through. Okay. Well. I have to read you, uh, read you your rights. This doesn't mean you're, you're under arrest or anything or something like that. You just, I have to read it for you, okay? Uh, you have the right to remain silent and answer the questions. Do you understand? Uh, any statement you make must be freely and voluntarily given. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You have the right to the presence and representation of a lawyer of your choice before you make any statements and during any questioning. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. If you cannot afford a lawyer, you are entitled to the presence and representation of a court appointed lawyer before you make any statements and during any questioning. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. If any time from the interview you don't wish to answer any questions, you are privileged to remain silent. Do you understand? I can make no threats or promises to induce you to make a statement. It must be of your own free will. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. And any statement you make can and will be used against you in a court of law. Did you understand the rights of the you? Officers approached her and asked about her occurrence. She explained about her turning to the wrong intersection. She mentioned other vehicles turning at the same intersection. Then the officer asked her if she had any medical issues. The officer then read out the Miranda rights to her. Okay, so I have some sobriety exercises for you to do, okay? Uh, I noticed you're wearing sunglasses. Are they prescription? They... they are prescription. Okay. Want... I have my regular glasses. No, no, no. Uh, just put them on top of your head for me. Thank you. No, then I can't see. That's all right. I'm not going to give you a vision test, I promise. Can you come stand in front of me and just face towards me? And I'll, what I want you to do is I want you to stand on your feet together for me with your toes and your heels touching. 
and keep your arms down by your side and stand just like that, okay? Don't do anything else until I tell you to. You understand? Can you see the tip of my finger? Yes. Okay. This is going to move to the left and the right, okay? When it moves, I want you to follow it with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? Without moving your head. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. Just keep your eyes on here. Eyes on my finger, okay? Get up here. All the way over. Okay, it's going to go up and down, okay? Just keep following it, okay? It was time for Natalie to perform the sobriety test. The officer first instructed her about the horizontal gaze test. Then the officer took her pen out and told Natalie to follow the tip of the pen without moving her head. She completed it, and the officer seemed satisfied. Do you think you don't walk a straight line? You can put your glasses back on, or do you have regular ones you want to put on so it's not really good?
She wore her glasses and was instructed to do the walk and turn test. The officer made her stand on the line of the roadside and instructed her to do the walk and turn. While doing the test, she was missing her steps, and she took 18 steps instead of 9, as the officer instructed. The officer took no time to handcuff her. This is a driver exchange information. It's got your information and her information on it. You're on top of the crash. All right, there's the deal. When you uh, call your insurance company tomorrow, these two case numbers are circled at the top. That's what you're going to need, okay? I'm going to put this in your center console. It's got your uh, registration insurance. Do you have any questions pertaining to the crash? I don't want to. No, please. My dad's on my way, though, but is that okay? Do you have anything else on you? No, ma'am. Is there any shoes in the car that we need to, that we can bring with you? I wish. Okay. Is there anything in the car you want me to take? Your cell phone? Bit, so I'm, I'm going to turn this off so you save the battery. But you can't use it at the jail and take it out, okay? Let's walk over to my car, okay? Um... Then the officer showed her driver exchange paper and kept that with her documents. The officer asked if she needed anything from the vehicle, so they switched off her phone and took it with her. Lastly, she was placed in the police cruiser and transported to the jail. Natalie was charged with DUI. If you think she was polite with the officers, just wait until you see the next one. You repeat it back since I've told you three times. In this incident, 21-year-old Alex repeatedly made poor decisions while being intoxicated, and the same officer stopped him twice in a row. Why? What's the point of that? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Get up against the wall for me, please. I don't, what's that? What do you mean, what's that? I have your ID. Yeah. What is that? My papers? What do you mean, what's that? William, 162 headquarters, we're 10-2. William, 162 headquarters, 10 copy, 29, Minnesota. Yes, sir. 29, last name is First of Alex, Adam Lincoln, Edward X-Ray. Male, date of birth. If you were to cut your pants on, yeah. Dude, you you got drug dealers. You know what, how old are you? How old are you? How old am I? Yeah. I'm 21 today. Okay. Yeah. Today. You know what? And you know what? You've been 21 all in one day and you could show me how Correct. responsible you are with the other of alcohol. What have I done all this? You pulled your pants down in the middle of the road, dude. Do you have nothing better? No, I don't. Take your hands out of your pocket. No, you don't have nothing better. Oh, okay, yeah. All right. Search me out. My job right now, Search you know what it is, Come on. is to deal with people that can't handle liquor very well and to keep order on this street. And you pulling Dude. your pants down and exposing your buttocks to a whole bunch of people is not order. <laughs> Dude, you're f***ing just bored. Look at, look at my f***ing boring pockets. me right now, okay? Just no f Might as well just... I'm not, I'm not being a danger to society. What's your phone number? Dude. And what's your current address? Am I right? You, you have, you have an issue. On March 11th, 2023, in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, an officer observed a male involved in public indecency who was also suspected to be intoxicated, twice exposing his bare buttocks in the middle of the street. The officer quickly approached the individual 
and found out that he had turned 21 just hours earlier. The officer asked him to submit his ID and asked to stand in front of the wall. Upon confrontation, he pulled up his shirt and said they had nothing better to do. Alex refused to provide sufficient answers to the police questions. He claimed he did nothing wrong and that the officer should deal with major crimes. Listen, you're getting you, a ticket, okay? You were a was you in high school? Yep, I sure and was. now you're trying to make up for it. Yep. You're not helping yourself. What's man. your address, I current know. address? Do you live in town here? No. I have not committed a crime. I could do criminal route instead. Yeah, and I, I could take you to jail. You can't, you can't detain me because I haven't committed a crime. You are detained right now. We could go multiple routes, disorderly conduct, indecent exposure, public intoxication. A lot of different areas we can okay. go. Well, what, what am I being like, when arrested are you for? Well, right now, I believe you're getting a public intoxication ticket. For what? I'm 20, I'm you're 21? Under the, yes, but you're under the influence of alcohol, and you have made poor decisions while under the influence Correct. of alcohol. Correct. What proof do you have that I had... Uh, because you pulled your pants down. Okay. Yeah, you'll get a ticket and a court date, and if you want to contest it, I you mean, can go dude, to the court date. Dude. Alex, you got a citation for disorderly conduct? All right, sounds all right, good. All your information is, is behind here, all right? Okay. All right. But I'm good, though? You're free to go. You're good to go? Yep. Free to go. All right, sounds good. Yeah. I'll see you in court. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> you are a loser. Okay, I appreciate that. You're welcome, buddy. Good night. See ya! Despite the officer recording the interaction, Alex continued to argue and insult the officers, eventually receiving a ticket for disorderly conduct. The officer released him by handing over the ticket and told him to appear in court. <laughs> Are you serious? Two nights in a row, you can't have this out here. No, 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 you're getting excited again. Stop. Stop. William Stinks, William Stinks, he's gonna put Water Street. Fighting with one. Stop. Okay. Stop. On the ground. Now. I'm not. I'm okay. not resisting. Stand behind your back. Stop resisting. I'm not resisting. Don't fight. Right. Holy Stop f fighting me, dude. I'm not fighting at all. Congratulations, you just turned an ordinance ticket into an arrest. I'm I'm not fighting at all. I have never met somebody make so many bad decisions. What have I done? What have I what did I do? Please tell me what I did. Now it was an open container. What did I do? And then you resisted. I didn't. You tried taking off. I now you're going to jail. Off. Dude, settle down dude, here. I didn't, I'm what do you mean settle down? I've I've I'm so calm right now. What are you talking about? You can't say settle down. I'm, I'm very calm. That was good? Yeah. You go to jail. Okay. The following night, around the same time, the same officer who had encountered Alex the previous evening observed him once again, this time on the sidewalk, with an open container of alcohol and chirping at the people. After getting caught, he resisted his arrest and ran away. The officers followed him and handcuffed him while he was combative. Alex still had no idea what he had done wrong. Dude, we're not even gonna have this conversation. You ran from us. Do you really expect that? Have a seat, watch your head. What illegal thing have I done? You, you fled from the police. That's illegal. You know what? Okay. okay. I'm not. I'm not going to sit and argue it with you. Okay. Why did you run then? Because I didn't do anything. What am I being arrested for? I, I have, already told I have you. the right to know. I already told you. I have the right to know what I'm being arrested for. Yep, and I already told you. What am I being arrested for? You repeat it back since I've told you three times. For resisting the police. That's not a thing. Well, it is, because that's what you're being arrested for. Have you ever heard of uh, you, you watch Law and Order? You have to tell me what I'm being arrested for. I actually don't, because I will because everything will be nullified because you didn't tell me my rights. Everything will be nullified because you don't know what's under my rights. So that's awesome. Right, can I just go to bed, please? You have told me no reason why I'm arrested that's legal resisting and obstructing oh, that's, that's did you take illegal. your seat did you take your seatbelt off yes I did. okay it needs to stay on while you're in the car no one read me my rights put your seatbelt no on otherwise i'm rights. giving you a seatbelt no ticket one read me my rights. your partner is a loser who has never 
my 21st birthday, can I just have fun? What? Like, what am I doing? You don't even know. You don't even know what I'm being arrested for. Resisting and obstructing, no. Alex. Yes, yeah, resisting arrest from a idiot. Oh my god. You didn't read my rights, you have no rights. Would you be willing to blow into a PBT for me? No, because you didn't read my rights. You didn't say my rights. Okay, and Alex, we don't have to when we arrest What someone. do you mean? Unless yes, you I, do. Unless I ask you questions about the crime that you committed, I don't Same have to. Rights. Okay. He was placed in the police vehicle. In the vehicle, he blamed the officers and apologized. He put off his seatbelt and refused to wear it while demanding his rights. Later, he also declined to do the preliminary breath test. Alex was charged with disorderly conduct during his initial encounter with the police on night one. And on night two, he was charged with resisting or obstructing an officer, as well as having an open container on a sidewalk. Moving on to the next scenario, in which another man scuffles with police officers. Watch what happens next. You blew right past me at 15th and Broadway, easily going over 80. A man named Jerry Kanuma puts his life in danger and uses his family as an excuse. On August 28, 2022, an officer of the Edmond Police Department in Oklahoma was on patrol when they observed a gold-colored vehicle driving 80 miles per hour in a 45 miles per hour zone. It was also heavily raining at that time. The officer activated their sirens and followed the vehicle to initiate a traffic stop. What are you doing, dude? Did you not see the lights or anything? Huh? You didn't see the lights? Okay. Okay. Why are you driving so fast? I'm heading home to my wife. Okay, yeah, what is going on? Because you're going over 80 miles an hour south on Broadway. Do you not see the road conditions? Yes, I am uh, heading home because my wife and my kids are crying. Are what? Are crying. You do not do that. You're going to kill yourself and you're going to kill somebody. Okay? Do you not get that? I get that. You can't even go that fast in regular conditions, but for you to do it in this rain? I am not trying to obstruct any, any... That's ridiculous. You know you can get your driver's license taken away for driving like that? No. Yes, ma'am. That's ridiculous. Yes, ma'am. It is. Where are, you go where are you coming from right now? I'm coming from my friend's house. Fraternity. What fraternity? Can you not answer my question? What fraternity? A what? Is it by UCO? Okay. I am trying to get to my wife. Okay. And can she just let me know that I need to get back? Okay, but what is because they're crying? You think it's okay no, to drive that bus? My son. Your son is crying. Is your wife not able to take care of your crying son? Yes, she, she is. She is. Okay, so that's not okay. That's not a good excuse, right? Not when you're endangering yourself and other people. You blew right past me at 15th and Broadway, easily going over 80. I had to go 90-something to catch up to you, and you were still accelerating at a rapid speed past me. Have you had anything to drink today? Then what would cause you to drive like that? My son and my wife. So at what point did you see us with our lights on? Because we, just answer my question. Did you see us with our lights on behind you? About 33rd or 
something like that? About 33rd. So it took you all the way to down here to stop? Let me tell you one thing. I stopped because he was following me and I told him to uh, respect. Are you, he was behind you? It was me the entire time. I'm the one you blew past. Yes. I do not have anything against me. Against what? Just answer my questions. You're not making sense. You're not being clear and concise. And you're making my partner and I stand out in the rain. You endangered our lives and other people's lives by going that fast in this weather. I am not trying to do that. What's well, what you did? Why don't you step out? Step out. You can talk with us in the rain if you want. Oh my God. Oh, no, out. get out now. Get step out now. Get out. Oh, how much have you had to drink tonight? Get out of the car now. Eventually, he parked his car and the officer approached him and confronted him. The officer asked him where he was coming from. He stated that he was trying to change for his wife and needed to go back because his son was crying. The officer investigated why he did not stop, and his responses were not clear and concise. The officer ordered him to step out of the vehicle and asked him how much he had been drinking. Okay, we're going to this car right there. Yeah, you've said ma'am a hundred times. I don't need to hear anything else. Anything ma illegal on you? No, ma'am. Let me call my wife. No. Let me call my wife. When you get to the job. Let me call my wife. When you get to the job. Stop. 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 Oh, my God. Stop. Oh, my God. Stop. Oh, my God. Stop. Stop. Oh my God. Stop. Stop. Get in the car. I don't have anything. Get in the car. I don't have anything. Get in the car. I don't have anything. Take a seat. No. Let me call Take my wife. Take a seat right now. Let me call my wife. When you get to the job. Let me call my wife. Let me call my wife. Let me call my wife. Let me call my wife! Let me call my wife! Let me call my wife! Can I call my wife, please? You will get to at the city I need jail. To call my wife. You will get to call her at the city jail. I need to call my wife. Right I, now? I need no. To my phone. I need my phone. I need my phone. I don't know who that is. No, 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 no. That's that judge. Again, I don't my, know who that my is. My wife's dad is a judge. Okay. Okay, I cannot talk to you right now. Do you not see the rain? I need to focus on the road so I don't get either of us killed. We can talk when we get to the station. Due to his negligence at the police officer's commands, he was physically removed from the vehicle. He got tensed and resisted, due to which the officers arrested him. His constant resistance and demands made the arrest worse. The officer warned him not to fight and to take a seat in a squad car. He was then transported to the police station in the heavy rain. The suspect was charged with driving under the influence, DUI, failure to yield to an emergency vehicle, reckless driving, resisting arrest, and speeding. Do you believe the man deserved the consequences he faced? Or the police could have handled the situation more smoothly? Share your thoughts in the comments. Another man makes things worse, adding charges to his list. The finale star is Rhett, who physically assaulted the police officer. On April 20th, 2022, officers converged in a parking garage to arrest a man who was facing charges of bail jumping in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Upon arrival, the officer suspected that he was holding something in his hand that could be dangerous. He was asleep and awoken by the police. Hey, Red. What the f hey, can you stand up for us? Nope. Okay, you're not touching me. You're not touching me. You're not touching me. You're not touching me. Get the f away from 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 me. Do not touch me. On the line, I don't You disrespect me. Stop. I don't care. You guys are f***ing disrespecting every time you put me in jail, you put me in hell, you, you torture me every f***ing time. Stop. Stop. Bro, I didn't even do anything wrong. Stop. 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 Red, just relax, alright? No, I don't want these fighting. You guys did me every time. Stop. 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 Stop.
Stop fighting. Stop. stop. If I stop I, resisting, I, I, will you guys let go? Slow down. Get on your stomach. Slow if you guys stop resisting, will yes. you let go? All right, of you right now? You're already placed under arrest. Let me get going. Let me put my hands behind my back. Okay. Let go of me, please. Let me actually. Let me actually. Change his back. Sorry about that, bro. Change his back. Yeah. Slow down your stomach, please. Stop. Thank you, guys. Stop messing up. Let me just watch with you. They're not gonna win this. I don't care. You guys should not be arresting me. You guys are up. He was immediately uncooperative and asked the police not to touch him. He claimed to be tortured and disrespected. The police tried to handcuff him, but he resisted despite the warnings. During the encounter, he revealed that he had been through these types of situations and showed discontentment. Oh, you want to break the next one? You already guys deserve a loss because you're breaking my trigger suits. I am. <coughs> Excuse me? The f did you just say? Say that again. What? Who just said that? I said what? Who just said you just use any force at all? Excuse me, what? Alright, you all fired. Alright, stand up. No, you freaked me up. Oh, you just ate you, ate him. And you all, there you go. Good job, Stand here. That's battery to law enforcement. He's in the bottle. See how she pulled me? No. Oh, you already pulled your dog? Last time you did that to me? I got it. I got it. Huh? Oh, yeah, let's see that. Sounds real. Are you going to open it? I said, Sam. Stop off. You good? Stop off. Yeah, thanks for that. Get your foot. I can't get my feet in. Thanks. Tooth might be loose. Tooth might be loose. Yeah, the old headbutt. Yeah, it hurt. <laughs> Rhett put up a struggle as the police tried to handcuff him. And after successfully restraining him, they escorted him to a police squad car. During the escort, he headbutted one of the officers. He was then placed in the vehicle, and the officer who got hurt confirmed that he had a loose tooth. Not people like you would have wanted to watch Work to make the difference in the system, to change it, so you don't have to be like people like me, who are still doing better than the rest of us, who up, got their shit and then got abused by the system, and then spit back out and turned out to be the same cocksuckers who work to with the same people in the same system and make it pieces of garbage. Like the whole world is at this point. What time am I getting out tomorrow? You're not. What? You're not getting out tomorrow. Excuse me? You heard me. For what? Excuse me? Well, you're bill jumping at these battery two law enforcement officers for headbutting. It's not it. He pulled me into them. That's not true. Prove it. Prove it. Where are the cameras, it's huh? All on body cam. Oh, yeah? Well, how about the last time you started bail jumping at assault officers who tackled me? He's headbutted Officer Sheridan and he's fighting with us in the ramp, so. This uh, bail jumping and then battery two law enforcement. Sort of conduct. He's banging his head on the window pretty good in there, too. Brett. Brett, are you going to be okay with us if you come out or what? Hey. Brett, can you step out of the squad for me? Brett, you got to come up. Brett. You got to help us out here, Brett. You got to come out here. Can you step out of the squad for me? Swing your legs out for me? Huh? Come on, Brett. You got to help us out. It'll be much easier if you just swing your feet out. Can you step out of the squad for me? Hey. I'm not, I'm not going in the chair. I walk, but okay, I'm not going in the chair. You put me in the chair, I'll you. Okay. Do, not put, do not put me in the chair. Shut the up, you I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. I'm coming out, I'll go. I'll go, 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 Upon arrival at the police station, he adamantly refused to exit the police vehicle. The suspect continued to scream and shout, prompting the officers to physically remove him. <laughs> Rhett was charged with battery and resisting or obstructing an officer. If you enjoy watching these true crime videos, subscribe to watch more.